Ah, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about breakups for men and how to deal with your ex right now. The topic for this video is what if she blames you? There are going to be lots of situations maybe where you are going to be interacting with your ex and uh, the goal of these interactions it's certainly not to enter into fights and arguments unless you are enjoying it. Most of the times when you are going to be fighting, you are going to feel drained afterwards. You are going to feel like, oh my God, here we go, we did it again. And then you try to get back your power, you get back, getting back to your own strength. And um, it might take some time, you know, so it's frustrating to enter into systematic fights with your ex. And uh, her blaming you or her attacking you, it's, a, it's another one of those conflicting or arguing tactics or strategies or dialogue situations that you don't want to be exposed to. So my advice when this is happening, you know, suppose that she's there. Yeah, and you did that to me and then you left and then you said you would be there for me and you were not and on the situation there. So this is a blame game, right? We are calling that the blame game. And here's the thing. You are a human being. You are not perfect. You're allowed to have flaws. You're allowed to do certain things that sometimes are not maybe as optimized as, as you would like them to be. And if your ex keeps coming back after you over the same things over and over again, she's pushing you down, making you small, make you feel really miserable. And so you can be exposed to a little bit of it. This is called constructive feedback, right? If somebody comes to you and says, you know what, when I see you doing that, I can see that you are hurting people by doing that. Or I can see that in that case, if you were behaving a little bit differently, that would be really good. So if your ex comes with constructive feedback and she says, you know, when, when you do this, it's actually, I don't really like it, it triggers me. So what about, what do you think we could do about it? You know, so this is constructive feedback. This is like having constructive conversation so that we can both improve our lives, right? You and her, you are there and you're having a constructive conversation. Usually the blame game is not that. The blame game will come from a place of trigger and anger and frustration, vindictive, and wanting to push the responsibility on you, the responsibility for the breakup. What she's trying to avoid by doing that is avoid looking at her own stuff, her own shadows. She's saying, oh, it's your fault, it's you, you did it. No, no, no. So by doing that, what she's, what she's doing is pushing her responsibility towards you. She doesn't want to feel the guilt or the shame. She doesn't want to question her own behaviors. She just wants to blame you. And this is an attack. You see, it's like shaking you, it's like punching you. And so, again, you can be exposed to a little bit of that every now and then or in the process of the breakup she might say well you know here's what i feel you did wrong this didn't work for me it's okay for her to have a space a couple of times or even more where she can openly share her feelings if it's if if it can be mirrored if it's reciprocated if you are in a position where you can do the same towards her and then you offer each other some positive constructive feedback you know this is very useful but when it's just a blame game that keeps on repeating itself and it's like a broken record that doesn't get you anywhere, what's the point? And so what I encourage you to do when these blame games comes back, you know, and it keeps on recurring itself, recurring, happening, keeps on repeating itself, what you will do is very simple. I am not interested in having an argument with you. I'm not interested in arguing with you. I'm not interested in fighting with you. I respect you. I still love you. I think you're great. I don't want to fight. I'm out of here. And then you withdraw and you retreat. You go somewhere else. You step out. This ability to not engage in the fight, this is a very powerful strategy that you can engage anytime, that you can, you know, play with anytime. She wants to fight, she wants an argument, she wants to go into blaming more than into, you know, building this resentment and these opposing forces. You just go like, I'm not interested in fighting with you. I'm not interested in having an argument with you. Why? Because it's just going to be a clash of energies that is not going to solve anything. It's just going to make it 
make us more resentful and angry towards each other. And so what you want to do is simply put a boundary and say, thank you, I'm out of here. And you can do that when you're face to face, you can do that when uh, you're online, you know, for instance, you might having a chat on Facebook, on Messenger, and she says something and you go like, mm, it looks like this conversation is no longer serving me. I'll see you later. Bye. And you step out. Okay? Or you might explain it a little bit more. I not interested in having a fight with you. This conversation is no longer serving me. And that's a very positive way, a very powerful way to retreat. You need to be really smart, okay? Because a part of you, when somebody triggers you or challenges you or finds a hook, you know, they start digging in there, a part of you wants to stay in this friction zone. Because it can be interesting. You know, fights are building energy and sometimes it's interesting to be there. But you will notice that sometimes it's just a waste of, of your energy. It's a waste of your resource. You might be, you know, about to go on a date with a new woman in your life and then you know, your ex wants to trigger a fight. And you're like, what? No, I don't have time for this. So stepping out. Step out of the conflict zones. Step out when she's trying to blame you and keep on repeating the same message over and over again. You just go like, I respect you. I still love you. I think you're great. I don't want to play the blame game with you. I'm not interested in doing that. The simple one, right? I hope you have find, find the strength to apply it if you feel that your ex is coming with aggressive and um, you know triggering energies in your direction. I'll see you soon.